Welcome to our second tutorial about the contour roll. Let's start with a sketch. Right click, done. Now let's apply some dimensions. This angle I'm going to make 75 degrees. OK. This distance, 20 millimeters. Right click, aligned. And this distance, let's make it 15 millimeters, OK. Right click and done. Let's select this line and convert it to a center line. And we'll select this line and convert it to construction geometry. One more dimension is needed. Let's add a fixed constraint. And we're ready to exit the sketch. Finish sketch. Now let's activate the contour roll tool. The roll angle is currently set at 345 degrees. I'm going to leave that as is. OK. Now let's go to the Tools tab, Application Options. Let's uncheck Auto Project Edges for sketch creation and edit. And let's go and create a sketch on our contour roll. On this face, Project Geometry. Select this vertex and this one. Activate the Line tool. Let's create a line that connects the two vertices. Right click, Done. And let's create a second line. It'll be parallel to the first line. Right click, Done. Let's place dimensions. Let's make this dimension equal to the bend radius. OK. And we're done. Right click, Done. Let's select this line and convert it to a center line. And then we're ready to exit the sketch. We're ready to activate the contour roll again. We've got a preview in our workspace. The rolled angle. Let's change it. Let's make it 45 degrees. Be sure it's going in the right direction. And let's click OK. Let's create one more sketch. On this face, project geometry, this point, and this point. Now let's create a line connecting these two points. Right click, done. One more line parallel to the first one. Right click, done. Let's dimension it. It'll also be equal to the bend radius. Let's select this line and convert it to a center line. And we're ready to exit the sketch. Activate the Contour Roll tool again. Let's flip the direction of the roll. It'll be 45 degrees as well and click OK. Now let's make Sketch 1 visible. Right-click, Visibility. I'd like to create one more sketch. First, I'm going to project the center line. Project Geometry, select the center line. And this point. And this point. Let's create a line that connects the two points. Right-click, Done. Let's exit the sketch. And let's activate the Contour Roll tool again. Here is our profile. And here's our axis. Notice our original and new axes don't occupy the same space. As a result, we could end up with interference. Let's keep that in mind. Flip the side of the roll. And let's leave the rolled angle at 45 degrees and click OK. Let's check out what a flat pattern will look like. Our part unfolded successfully, so let's fold it back up. This concludes our second tutorial about the Contour Roll tool.